Hey guys, it's Yon. Welcome back to the Yon Gaming Show. Today we're playing a game called Spin Tires. It's one I've been playing a ton of lately. <clears throat> Show you guys a couple of different trucks that they have for it. We'll just start up a game here and see how we do. See, so yeah, we got this Jeep here. We've got a 4x4 four four truck and a 6x6 six six truck, so we'll take each one of them out for a spin, but there's a few things you can do. You can have some add-ons here for each vehicle. This one gives us 200 repair points, which is great because we're probably going to need them. So we can uh, start up here. We'll just... Uh, Take the parking brake off and go for a rip here. So this level is called the Plains. Uh, it's a pretty level map. Not a lot of uh, huge hill climbs or anything, but a lot of mud. Yep. I'm just gonna just gonna quickly turn that sound down because this game has some of the loudest sound like sound effects. And I don't know why. Oops, don't want to do that. Well, nope, don't want to do that. I want to resume. There we go. So, the game's pretty realistic. It's based off of um, what I guess um, Russian loggers would go through in Siberia. And I watched a few YouTube videos, and it's pretty realistic. So, and if you get into too deep of water, you take damage. If you stay in there too long, you can. Uh, uh, actually flood the engine and end up uh, in the middle of a lake or a river. Uh, the game's some of it. Uh, I guess it's as realistic as this is going to be uh, for a video game. I mean, it can't be full-on realistic, otherwise we would uh, you'd be constantly winching yourself out of uh, muddy spots. So This Jeep, however, is a really, really good vehicle. It, uh, it gets, as I say that, I'm going to get stuck. Um, no, it's just, it's it's slow moving. As you can see, I'm, I'm pushing mud right up to the bumper. And it's, uh, it's not liking it. I may have to do a little bit, bit of winching, but we'll see here. So let's take a look and see what my options are. I've got some trees over here. You just click on the, see the winch points there, winch source. And you want to go there. And, uh, yeah, so you get out and you just winch yourself out. Try to be careful not to flip yourself, because if you flip yourself, the engine will stall, and then you'll be you'll be out of luck. So we'll go through one more muddy spot here, and actually, I'm going to switch vehicles quick here, and we'll we'll switch back to uh, we'll rescue to that garage. I'm going to change trucks to the four-wheel drive. So, this one we can put a few things a uh, utility attachment, or we can just put a spare tire. We're not going very far, so we'll just throw that on there for now. And take the parking brake off, and off we go. This truck doesn't look like a lot, but it will go through a lot of mud. Um, I was actually really surprised for a four wheel drive vehicle how much this truck can go through. And I'm not even in four wheel drive right now, I'm just in two wheel drive. So, you'll see once we get into it, and uh, I'm driving an auto by the way, there's, uh, you can switch here if you want, you can leave it in first all the time, which, you know, can help for the low end, in this case we have to throw the all wheel drive on, just to get out, but I mean, you're stuck in first this whole way, I mean, if you're in a uh, smoother terrain, you might want to put it in auto, you can shift up to, I guess, what would be the higher gear. Um, but it only allows you to do that when you're moving. If you try doing it when you're stopped, the, um, the engine will stall. So yeah, this is a pretty big see, like, we put her in a higher gear to kind of get moving. Or if you really just want to, you just want to drive, you just want to fun, you do it that way. 
The difference being is if you do it this way, if you need to back up, you don't have to shift into reverse all the time. We'll take all wheel drive off again. It'll, you'll see a difference in the amount of fuel we're using if you put it in uh, two wheel or all wheel drive. In the larger vehicles, it makes a big difference for. Um, and you come into these areas and unlock vehicles that are, you know, set up here to try out if you want. So if we wanted to try one, you just go advance, change truck, and hop into this one. And start her up. This one has differential lock. That's it. So it's a two-wheel drive vehicle. It's a, like an old farm truck, it looks like here. It doesn't look like it's... Uh, I mean, it, these trucks do okay, but they're not... Uh, they're not really great in the deep, deep, deep mud. You get stuck pretty quick. I mean, if you want a more difficulty level, you can definitely do this and just winch yourself out a lot. Um, if you're pulling logs, which is kind of what you want to do in this game, well, I'll show you the map and give you an idea here how large this level is. Hopefully you can see my cursor. There's these little cloaking areas here that you have to go to and unlock. It'll open the map up. And there's an objective here, and that's usually a logging camp in, mold, in pretty much all the cases. And then there's your lumber. So you have to go here, get lumber, and wind your way through the wilderness and drop it off. So based on what vehicle you use, it'll allow you to bring more or less logs. Uh, you run out of fuel, so you have to make sure you do fuel up. Uh, if you're playing with friends, it's really nice because some you can take the utility trailer for repairs, some can bring a, a fuel cistern for fuel, and then someone can haul logs. There's a bit of teamwork in there too because you can help winch off each other. So. And uh, there are usually more than one garage. I thought this map had... Yeah, there's the other garage. You have to unlock the garages as well. Once you've unlocked everything on the uh, on the whole map, it uh, it finishes the level and then you can go somewhere else if you want. So so let's just keep going and see if we can... Actually, for the heck of it, let's see if we can make it back to the, the garage through that muck that we just came through. I have a feeling we're not going to make it. I'm, I might be cheating a little bit because I'm not going right through the mud, as you can see, but... I have a feeling once I hit this this river, if I ever hit the river, okay, yeah, I'm stuck. So I can I can try to winch myself out, but I have a feeling, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much to winch off of. No, okay. So in that's the thing. In these cases, if you if you're in a hurry and you you don't want to uh, deal with the whole winching thing, you can just rescue back and change to our third truck we're going to try it out. We'll try it out here. This one, you have a lot more you can add. Uh, carriage for hauling logs. It says here, uh, short logs, two points. And there's eight points on the, uh, on the objective, so you have to take four trips with this. The bigger logs you haul, the less times you have to go. And then you've got a log cart, which is used in junction with a medium log cart that's pulled behind to haul bigger logs. The carriage is for small logs, or short logs in this case. And then you have your f fuel cistern that you can use. Uh, garage parts, this is for unlocking the garages. Uh, tractor is for if you want to haul a semi, uh, semi-trailer, you have to put the the tractor attachment. Hey, you know what? Let's try it. Let's just, you know what? Why not? Let's, you know what? Let's haul the, the cistern. Oops. Where did that go? Cistern semi trailer. There we go. We're really having at her this time. So let's try her out. So you can see how big this is. The trailer's empty right now. You have to take it to a, a fuel depot if you want to fill it. So as you can see, the the truck is doing pretty good for only two-wheel drive right now, but once you get into the deep stuff, it'll start to get a little more hung up and have some trouble. It'll still go, but you'll have trouble. So in this case, you turn on your all-wheel drive and your differential lock, and it just walks right through it. It's, it's a very uh, versatile truck, this one. There are much bigger vehicles you can drive in this game, but this is probably my my favorite truck to drive um, all around. Oh, 
hopefully this camera angle isn't too too messy up messy up for you messy up apparently I can't talk but too messed up for you guys so try it out here so yeah so you just you kind of wind your way through the the trees and I'll just show you guys you don't want to do this but I mean if you're in a high gear and you come along and you smoke a tree you get damaged Oh, there's a lake there. You know what? Let's just uh, let's go for a drink here. I'll tell you. I'll show you guys what happens if you go through deep, deep, deep water. And uh, it's usually a way to go. Like that you'll see here. Like you can see, you go through the water. It's pretty shallow. But if you turn off the beaten path, it gets deep and deeper and deeper. And in some cases, you can make it out. In other cases, like I have a feeling this one's going to be. We are not going to make it. I'm getting damaged a lot. Try to turn, wind our way up, get her nose out of the water. You see, I'm getting damaged on the bottom. Oh, oh! I found this. Found a little traction. Yeah, that's the whole thing about this game is all about finding traction. And I mean, I'm hauling a big, heavy trailer with this thing as well, so you can see. You know, it's doing pretty good trailer's got no power, like, I mean, we're just dragging dead weight right now, so, we made it here, and we'll just go for a dive, because this, I know this is not, we're not going to make it through this dangerous water level, it's warning you, you know, try to steer out of it if you can, well, maybe I will make it through this, I thought this was a deep spot, well, just, just park it right there, and see, And I'll just, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll end it right there, guys. I just wanted to give you guys a little idea of what this game is about. Um, it's a super fun game if you guys want to check it out. There's a ton of modding for it. There's tons and tons of mods for this game. Um, for those who like the mods, just so you know, if you install the mods uh, with the vanilla version, which I'm playing right now, it will mess with your multiplayer. Um, from what I understand, there is a, a separate um, thing you can run with spin tires and running in the background to allow you to use those mods in multiplayer. I haven't really tried that out. I haven't messed around with it too much. Me and my friends just play it on uh, on this version, but it's out there. You search spin, spin tire mods and they've modded pretty much everything into this game. So yeah, so there you go guys. Uh, thanks for uh, watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. And uh, as always, happy gaming. How am I gonna get out of this one? Yeah, I don't know, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling we're going to just, we'll just, just get on the cell phone. Just call someone, we'll winch us out. Where'd he go? I guess he gave up on me too. <laughs>